What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be playing the ESL Cup with random doing cheeses only. It's going to be really fun to do my first challenge tournament series with random. The tournament is always really stacked with pro gamers. It's going to be very, very hard, but a lot of fun. Let's begin. The first series is going to be against Spazy Mazy, a Grandmaster level Zerg. Now, as far as I know, He's a little bit off and on whether he's practicing or not. So I don't know if he's currently like 6K, which is I think is usual MMR or maybe more like 5-5. Five, five. I actually have no idea. Now we got Terran for the first match. And for a second there, I forgot that I actually had to cheese. So I was already thinking about some kind of weird macro build that I was going to do. So what should I do here? Is there anything from the recent patch that I can actually use? I'm not 100% sure. Probably not something with Widow Mines, because the Widow Mines did get nerfed like four. If you guys didn't see it, they actually got four nerfs, I believe. It, it could have been three, and like one of them was like quality of life or something, but I think it was four nerfs that they got. I kind of feel like doing something with Ghost. Maybe I could go for like a nice Ghost Hellbat attack. It's not typically the best cheese ever, but it has potential. It can definitely work. I could also skip going for Hellbat so I can go for. Oh, wait! That build actually got buffed a little bit because the armory is now 50 gas instead of 100. That's actually a small buff that I can use. Hellbat attacks. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do at least one of them. I don't know if I'm going to go for the ghost hellbat. As you guys know, my, my hands kind of just do whatever they want in these games. Like sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. And then I look at the screen and I'm already doing something else because my hands just decided what to do. But I think ghost hellbat could be a pretty good attack. And what I was going to say, I could also not go for the hellbat attack. And then go for Ghost Hellion into something like BCs instead. A very cool cheese that I've done a couple of times to great success. Because it's just so stupid that no one ever sees it coming. But I do think with the armor being a little cheaper, I do want to... Maybe I could go for the Penguin Brothers. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a very fast mass Viking mass Hellbat attack. Like, that's actually a really strong build. In my opinion, it's strong at least. Unless you're going up against Roaches. That has been buffed a little bit. I'm also tempted to do that. Hmm. Currently, my mind is like 70% on going for the Penguin Brothers attack and 30% going for the Ghost. And, well, I guess the math uh, is not going to math out, but maybe like 10%. <laughs> oh, wait, he's actually doing a, a pool first build here. Maybe there's like a small part of my mind that's still thinking about doing something else. Let's see how much gas he's mined. That is a very fast Roach Warren, but I am getting the Scout of... I would guess that he is not going to continue with that because I did scout it. Oh, I found the Zerglings as well. That's really nice. Typically, they're going to try to hide the Zerglings and then come in later. I should be able to save every single unit here with a well-placed grenade. There we go. That is going to stay alive. Now, I still can't really leave with this. I think I could pretend to leave and then come back. That could be a nice play. So I'm going to go all the way around there. His overlord saw it and I'm going to jump back over here. And if the two links show up, then I will be able to kill them. Now, he could still be going for the roaches. So I think I have to make cyclones first. How that's going to work for the follow-up? For like the helmet attack or whatever I want to do? I guess we'll have to see. But the thing with Hellbat attacks is, is that you actually cannot execute them um, against Roaches. Like, if you get Hellbats against Roaches, you, you have lost the match. Like, it's, it's very simple. So I think I'm going to wait a little bit. If he's going for Roaches, I'll do something else. Maybe like a double Battlecruiser build. If it is Roaches, I could still go for the Hellbat attack. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Instead of going into the main, I'm actually just going to check if he's making a third base first. Because that might be uh, a better indicator. Let's see. So he's taking third base and he's putting Creep Tumors. Which means he's not... Um, using Inject, so he's not creating more larva. So that already shows me that he has probably canceled the Road Swarm, but we still can't say with 100% certainty. Let's go for a check now. Uh, let's see if it was canceled over here, and he did indeed cancel that Road Swarm. Actually, I can probably escape with this. No, he was paying attention. Okay, I was going to go over there, but he was actually paying attention with those two circlings, meaning I can't escape. So, oh, actually, I'm going to kill this Overlord before it scouts my main. I do have two Hellions that are going to be uh, backing it up. And now, what's really good about this is I'm going to kill the Overlord, so he might not see my follow up coming if i was him right now i would start making more zerglings um because usually when you see cyclones the turn is going to be attacking early uh, so he has a couple zerglings he was probably expecting me to move out this is not like a 
a sign that he made more Zerglings, but I still think that he did make more Zerglings, and that would be really good for me. Because I'm going to attack probably a little bit later than he would expect. Let's see, I'm going to make the depot over there. I want to make my third command center in the wall, um, and hopefully he sees it too. Sadly for me, I cannot afford it yet, because Vikings are so freaking expensive. It's like 300 minerals a round of Vikings from a reactor. So as you can see, uh, I can't actually afford that much, let alone a third command center. Maybe I'll just wall it off with depots instead. I'm might be smarter so i'm gonna hit with two cyclones this opening might be even better with the penguin brothers because now i'm gonna have two cyclones as well instead of just the vikings for dps and i'm mostly talking about fighting against queens right because vikings are gonna do a decent job against queens where hellions and hellbats wouldn't uh, but now i also have two cyclones so that could be quite helpful maybe i could even transition into more cyclones afterwards but obviously most of it is going to be about this attack this attack is very all in uh, so this is yeah if this doesn't work at all then we're going to be in massive trouble. If it works a little bit, then this game might actually continue. Now, something that I would like to do is go for... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go for the mass Viking style if I have the chance. So I'm going to go for plus one ship weapons. Maybe I can lock this one in. That queen should die for free now, which is really nice. This is a little bit of a risky move because technically he could have had bailings up here. He is morphing bailings now. Okay, I'm very curious how this is going to go because I do have that extra little bit of firepower with the couple cyclones that I have. Let me make sure I uh, kill a couple of these drones at least. I do have a good amount of firepower. I want to just make sure that I split these Hellbats in particular. I'm going to split the Vikings as well. He's trying to go for the clumped up Hellbats, but the Hellbats weren't really that clumped up. So he didn't take the best fight ever here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to follow the units as I normally would. I'm going to force him to come out uh, because he doesn't want to lose his hatchery. Like obviously losing the hatchery sounds like a disaster to him. So I'm going to target the hatchery down now. And then I'm going to go for a second star for to go for the mass Viking style, which is going to be my crazy follow up of the day. Or well, just a the first match i'm probably gonna do different stuff every game knowing myself but if you get air attack vikings become so strong on the ground he doesn't have that hatchery yet so that's really nice i'm gonna just morph them in hellions and vikings and just run away keep in mind i do have a third cc already uh, and now i think for the most part i just have to defend i haven't seen roaches yet so for now i think we're okay if he does make roaches later on uh, that could be a little scary because the vikings they're going to be really good once the upgrades finish, but before that is the case, they're definitely going to struggle a little bit against the roaches. I'm going to saturate this mineral line. Need one more in gas, I believe. That's not exactly what I wanted to do, but it's still okay. I, I think I rallied on accident, so my command center stopped flying to my third base because it was in my hotkey. It's a little bit of a mistake. So let's see. He sent a couple Zerglings to the right side. I can probably just try to find those. There should be enough Vikings, especially with the plus one that is about to finish, I believe, exactly to um, take down a Zergling run by. And let's see if I can maybe do some damage with these. I, I think I just heard a Zergling die to those Vikings, but maybe I was hallucinating. It's all always possible, guys. Uh, let's see. My supply is 100. And my supply is freaking high, by the way, for playing Penguin Brothers into mass vikings my supply is actually incredibly high especially combined with the upgrades so i'm gonna start the plus two air weapons first i do think i'm gonna go for another attack though before oh it he went for mutas and I... okay this is so funny he went for mutas and i'm going for mass Vikings. oh no oops oops i'm misclicking oops sorry <laughs> i'm gonna let that viking die i, I don't want him to think that i manner mailed him on accident there <laughs> <laughs> Maybe rage. I ran really him on purpose, sorry. <laughs> I don't want him to think it was an accident. I want him to think it was real. I hate this guy. <laughs> no, okay. Now, it is a little awkward because... I do have the counter, but the Vikings are quite slow. I don't think I want to end up in a base trade scenario. Um, so I kind of want to stay on top of the Mutas. I do think if I attack him with these upgrades... Oh, that's another Muta going. These Vikings are actually pretty good against Mutas. It's not a counter you would usually see. But if you ever get to the point where you just have a lot of Vikings against a decent amount of Mutas, you can kill them very, very easily because of the extreme range. Okay, so I found these Mutas over here. He's run buying with the Zerglings, but I got the Vikings killing the Mutas and the Hellions killing the Zerglings. This is a perfect fight for me so far. I think he has a couple more Hellions or a couple more Mutas rather that are somewhere around here. But I feel like at this point we killed so many units already that I can just go for it. Uh, even if he counterattacks now. Oh my god, these Vikings are popping up so hard against the Mutas. I wonder how many he's lost already. I feel like he's lost like 10 Mutas and maybe he killed that one Viking that uh, he only killed because I was typing sorry to him or oops or whatever I said. Here we go. He's gonna fly over with the Mutas but there are so many Vikings here both on the ground and 
in the sky and that is a beautiful first game the new hellbat timing attack looks very very nice because you need less gas you could probably figure out a build where you can hit super fast without even being that all in because you need 50 less gas which does make a decent amount of difference when it comes for the build but here it was obviously a little awkward because i had to go for the cyclones first in case it was roaches blah blah but this was very enjoyable let's go for game number two the second game is going to be on El Cyany, and I kind of want to get Zerg here. Now, normally I would never say this because ZVZ is actually my worst matchup out of all the matchups in the game. But I did, re oh, there we go. I did recently learn uh, a build, or well, <laughs> I, sh I should clarify. I got an idea of a build from a friend from Sword of. He played against a GM Zerg player on stream, and I think he won, but he said the cheese the guy that is pretty good. So I just looked at the build order. I didn't even look at the replay i just got it from one of those replay analysis websites and i just tried to copy the build and the first time i did it it worked really well i beat a 5-8 zerg player so i'm just gonna try to do it again basically what it was is you kind of pretend to play a normal game with light link bailing pressure but then instead of keeping it at light bailing pressure or transitioning into the macro game, you build a Roach Warren. And then since your opponent's so busy defending the Link Bane, because it's always very scary and hectic, you make like nine Roaches behind it. And hopefully your opponent makes nine drones instead and then you can walk across the map and kill them. So that is what I'm going to go for here. Um, I have absolutely no idea. I probably should have looked at the actual replay, but I have no idea how you're supposed to like... Actually, I'm going to use this one. How you're supposed to like transition from it. Like, do you start a layer of extra gases or do you just keep making roaches and links and hope your opponent dies? I actually have no idea. Uh, but hopefully we can just kill him with that attack. I do think there's a decent chance we can't. Like, the thing about ZVZ is that ZVZ is inherently just a cheesy matchup. It kind of tends to happen in mirror matchups. PvP is the same. TVT is... Well, it's not as cheesy, but I feel like it's purely because of the Siege Tank. Like, Siege Tank is so good against everything that Terran has that it's just a little easier to defend. But for the most part, mirror matchups are very cheesy, very aggressive. So Zergs, like actual Zergs, not me <laughs> as a random player, but actual Zergs, they're going to be more used to it. So I guess we're going to see. I hope I can execute it well. It would make me very happy if I could uh, win a ZVZ because, like I said, it has been my worst matchup for a while. I think in the last season, my ZVZ win rate was 19%. <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty freaking terrible of course now admittedly some of those losses were just me tilting off the face of the earth so it's uh yeah maybe not exactly indicative of how bad my matchup is but it's it's pretty bad okay so we're being that uh-huh that looks like the same build he did last game and i i kind of doubt that is a build that works in zvz i hope i'm not wrong here but it looks like he just played pool first to be safe he kind of has the anti-random player on the ladder approach, you know, where you just kind of assume they're going to cheese you. Uh, but here, I feel like I should just be able to get a little bit ahead from this. Oh, that is an overlord. Not, I was kind of hoping that that would be uh, the set of Zerglings popping out, but it looks like it's not going to be. But that's okay. I'm just going to get my queens, going to get my third hatchery, and that should all be okay. Let's see if I can out-micro him a little bit with the link. So far, so good. I think we're barely going to win out on this train. There we go. We won by one Zerg. Or, well, by uh, 26 health, <laughs> to be exact, because I lost one, as I said that. Well, always gives me a little bit of pride to win those Zerglings battles, you know. Now, he didn't take a... Th okay, this okay. thank goodness he took it. I, I have to say, since I don't know much about ZVZ, if they play something, like, slightly off-standard, like, not going for the fast third base... I would have absolutely no idea what to do. Like, legitimately, I, I would be completely clueless. So I'm very glad to see this base because I have no idea what to do against, like, the... It doesn't even have to be two-base Muta or something extreme, just, like, two-base road speed with plus one, stuff like that. Like, I would be absolutely clueless. So now I'm going to spam a bunch of links. Normally, I have, like, four links alive from the early game, and I use those to morph into Bay links. Now we're not going to have that. So that is a little bit different compared to usual. I wonder if I should transfer a couple drones to my third base to make it look like I'm droning up. He actually does not have that many drones. In fact, he has less drones than me. So maybe we should be defending for now. I'm going to morph a couple bailings over here. And then I guess I'll start the Roach Warren behind it. Yeah, he's going to put me on the defensive, which is a little weird. I'm going to make a... Um a Roach Warren still. Let's see. Yeah, he is morphing Bailings. That's what I expected. It, it could just be that he doesn't have that many drones uh, because we were ahead from the early game build that he decided to do. Let's see if I can get a nice connection. And there we go. One Bailing is already gone. Both Bailings are already gone. And that is very, very nice. It looks like he's probably going to be backing off. So what I'm going to do... Oh, there are a couple... Ba That's a lot of Bailings, actually. Huh. But let's see. 
Should I? I think I, I think we just send it now, right? Like that was. I think he morphed like nine bailings in total or something. I don't quite have enough minerals to use all the gas that I have, unfortunately. Oh, those might actually be finishing pretty soon, so I'm just gonna go for this, and then I'm gonna start making a bunch of roaches. Let's see if I can get in over here. He might try to kill my zerglings before I kill the hatchery. Okay, this is actually gonna be quite close. This is quite risky what I'm doing here, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Uh, I don't really like that I went for this because I don't have the drones. I don't have the, the drones myself to even use the third base. That is the thing. So maybe it would have been better for me to save those to go for the attack. He's morphing Bailings now, but I already have Roaches, so that is definitely not going to work. I guess maybe I should just go across here and just see what we can do. Okay, he's trying to use the uh, Bailings to explode these. I don't want to lose all these links to just... Uh, one bailing that uh, would be unfortunate so it looks like he is gonna try uh, to go for a counter attack here i'm just gonna put my queens on the ramp and then i guess we'll just see what i can do with this attack because he I, I don't know if he's gonna morph bailings or actually just try straight up to um run in with zerglings exactly that's what he's gonna do so i'm just gonna pull those back i already have my queens on the ramp let's see does he have something that needs to be scared of probably pull these queens back so they don't die I'm gonna... Wait, maybe I can just explode these on these. Let's see. Oh, they don't also actually kill them. I didn't know that. Okay, that's, that's where my lack of ZVZ knowledge comes into play, unfortunately. Like, I actually had no idea that they wouldn't kill that. So he's gonna make a ton of spines. It feels like it would be smart for me uh, to just kill this and make a bunch of drones did i lose my queens i did lose both of my queens it looks like unless i somehow pulled them across the map on accident now this is going to be a very awkward game here i think i'm just going to morph a ton of bailings because otherwise uh, i don't think we're going to come out of this alive did, did he go for another counter attack i actually didn't quite see uh would be tough to deal with if he did yeah he did actually go for another counter attack okay so we're gonna have to kill him with this i guess we'll just try to split up the bailings as much as possible and then oh my god a lot of uh, stuff here let's see i'm gonna go into the mineral line kill a bunch of those i do have even more bailings coming in like he clearly wants to go for a surround on my unit so he has a couple of stuff over there i did kill most of his things though Wait, is this actually enough? I actually have no idea, to be honest. Like, this is so weird. I'm going to use some of my links to defend. Let me make sure to target these drones. I have 20 drones left, which is really not that bad. I have enough links to defend, I think. These roaches I have on his side of the map are all so freaking low. I'm going to be starting some more drones. I think I'm going to go up to at least like 25 or so. That sounds realistic. Oh, I am going to lose these roaches a little bit too easy. That's unfortunate. So I'm just going to morph a couple bailings over here. And then I'm going to make... Uh, this is pretty crazy about me, but I am going to make more drones. Let's see. I have two bailings. I kind of feel like I should be safe with that, but I'm also not 100% convinced. Is he going to be morphing bailings? Let me check quickly. I can't quite tell he does still have more links on the way uh, so i'm just gonna morph more more bailings as well now should i make bailings or roaches that's something that i'm not 100 percent sure about that's oh, oh my goodness he manually detonated it but i was just in time that is nice Okay, there we go. He might try to out-micro me here a little bit. I, I feel kind of sure that he must have um, either a lair. Oh, he's going for the third base now. I was going to say either a lair or a third base on the way. That is a lot of bailings. I'm sure those are going to kill the hatchery at least. Now, let me make sure that I escape with most of that. The bailing killed my... Um, killed my brutlings but that's really not the biggest deal to be honest now maybe at this point i can finally go across the map that would be nice i'm gonna start a couple queens i guess i'll more a couple bailings here first otherwise uh, could be a little bit too scary uh, to go up against like mass links or something like that now i know he doesn't have that many drones but he did probably rebuild a bunch of those in the time okay wait he has roaches himself now too huh Let's see how many he has. I think it's a couple too many roaches for me to deal with. Yeah, so I'm just going to back off for now. And I'm going to try to retake this base. Uh, I could send my bailings across the map as well. Let's see. Oh, he's actually just going for the counter attack. Um, I should have enough links to kill that though. If he's really going to keep pursuing me, I feel like I should have enough uh, units coming out to kill that. Let me actually make sure to do my injects. Otherwise, that's going to be a little bit painful. Also, I need to be careful to not waste these bailings. Normally, it's fine to waste bailings, but in this stage of the game, uh, wasting bailings would be very suboptimal. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I can out-micro him a little bit here. Um, it's going to be scary with the links coming in, I have to say. 
I could morph. I actually, I'm missing the larva right now more than anything else because he killed the queens. It's actually finally starting to bite me a little bit. He's targeting the uh, the roaches, which I really don't mind. I really thought if he killed those drones instead, maybe it would have been more painful. But instead, that's actually quite nice for me. So now I can make a bunch of um links to go across the map with my camera hotkeys are starting to be a little bit messed up here now because uh wait i could probably just kill that one i don't want to lose the bailing no i'm gonna lose the bailing unfortunately gonna make a couple more uh roaches now as well with the gas i have and then i'm gonna try to go across the map again let's see i'm gonna make another queen there i could probably make a couple more drones I don't quite know how many workers my opponent has, but I feel like it has to be more than me at this point. So we can definitely go for a couple more drones. I do have a lot of links here. So let's go. Oh, that's barely not good enough of a surround. If that was a good surround, that could have been really nice. But now it does look like my opponent has too much stuff. And that is going to be it, I think. I'm not going to leave until we've actually lost the game. But that does appear to be it because he just has... I mean, he has a saturated third base and I don't have anything, right? So it makes sense. I mean, I am actually slowly starting to saturate my own base. So maybe if I didn't go for an attack, I'm curious what the situ situation of the game would have been. I'm actually not 100% convinced now, I do have to say. I'm going to put down a creep tumor. I did lose a bunch of roaches on the map, but at the same time, it was a pretty nice distraction. I'm just going to be spamming units now. I have 40 drones, which is also really not that bad. Oh, I didn't really want to lose that right away. That's unfortunate. Now he's going to be targeting the drones. I do have a pretty decent surround here with all the zerglings. That queen is going to be distracting him. I got a, I got a lot of zerglings coming out, and I'm actually going to surround the roaches quite well. So now all of his roaches are going to die, but this game is actually <laughs> freaking crazy i feel like every time we we kill like a bunch of units we're okay okay now i can kill the guy and then we still can this is so funny maybe i can catch these two roaches as well there we go he does have a lot of links don't think i want to commit to that right now i think it's time for me to go for a lair right i feel like it has to be time for me uh, to actually get a lair up finally so i can get roach speed and stuff or maybe i'll get plus one attack first i think that also sounds pretty fair I'm going to start rallying my drones over here. Let's see if I can actually kill something here. Okay, I'm going to run into the main. This is a little bit of a psycho move, but I guess we're going to have to see if it pays off. Okay, I'm just going to hold position my links over here. I'm going to be able to kill four drones already, which is really not bad. I'm going to make a lair as soon as I have 100 gas now. Oh, I didn't actually misclick the button there, unfortunately. Okay, so our opponent has a lot of roaches, like an actually crazy amount of roaches, right? Maybe I should make a couple spine crawlers. That's not the craziest idea ever. I still need more stuff. I think I'm actually just going to fight here on this ramp because that's going to be the longest this fight can take. I'm going to cancel the lair just so I can actually afford more roaches. I am not going to have enough larva to spend it yet. He does have plus one attack as well. I mean, my supply is looking pretty decent. I just, I'm not convinced it's enough to be honest. He has roach speed as well, I believe. Yeah, he does have roach speed. Like I knew he was going to be ahead uh, from that early game skirmish. I was hoping that it wouldn't quite be enough. My um inject finish so i'll be able to make a couple more units i'm getting one spine up which i mean i know it's not gonna finish but it did do a decent job wait actually that bio connected wait somehow it kind of feels like we're killing his army i don't know how but uh, somehow it feels like we're actually killing his army here so maybe it's time for me to get a transition to lair going now and then i'll go up to a fourth base as well this actually is like the longest gbc i've ever played i know <laughs> i don't even have a lair yet but this game is actually freaking crazy he's sending more units across the map my plus one is going to finish quite soon so if i can actually survive until that point that would be freaking awesome Okay, so I'm going to fight until the Lynx early, which is really nice. There we go. I'm going to get a nice battle against the Lynx pretty early. And then I need to get back over here uh, so I can actually battle against these units. That, those Lynx were going to do a pretty devastating counterattack, I think. So it's nice that I actually managed to catch them. My plus one should be finished now. Exactly, it is finished. I'm just going to kite into his units. I can't run away anyway. Okay, let's make sure I keep injecting my stuff, of course. Do I still have this queen over here? Oh, the queen is all the way back there, unfortunately for me. So now I can start... Wait, where's my thingy? Oh, there it is. Now I can start road speed because my lair did finish. I'm actually quite impressed that I'm still alive, to be honest. Like, I know I might not be alive in you know the normal sense of the word in starcraft because you only use that when you're like not completely dead but i'm quite impressed with what we've been able to do so far now do i go for plus two attack i think we kind of have to right i'm gonna send a couple links over there see if i can uh, take that down 
And then I'm gonna tie to take the fourth base as well. I feel like my opponent has to be quite surprised with how alive I have been as well. Like, I, I'm sure he was thinking that I would be out of the game by now already, but it has been going surprisingly well. Now, his base is getting attacked. He might send units back to deal with that, or he could just go for the full on YOLO. Yeah, I did send a couple of units here. I'm losing a lot of overlords to the bile, but you can't really um, escape that, sadly. That is just a downside of sending all your overlords out on the map. Need to be careful here. The yeah, Biles are going to be very good. Maybe I should get a couple of Ravagers myself. Road speed is going to finish in about 15 seconds based on looking at it. And I'm going to lose even more Overlords. I'm going to have to uh, make a bunch more. I feel like if I can ever max out, there's going to be a shot, right? Like if I can ever max out, there's going to be a shot. Maybe I'm going to start Biling his Overlords as well. I'm going to split my units too. Uh, not because it's necessarily a good idea, but maybe it's going to help me create uh, more chaos. Wait, I can actually find these roaches. It could be that he thought it was like a small run by, but it's actually a big run by instead. There we go. I'm going to get three roaches already. That is a good start. I'm going to attack the other side. Let's see if I can do some damage here. I mean, he must be expecting this, to be honest. But wait, yeah, can I? No, I'm not going to go. I was thinking about just jumping on the Ravager there for a second. Uh, just, just to kill one of them easily, right? But I decided not to. Okay. Oh, he went for Mutas. Yeah, I don't think... Oh, that's actually too many Mutas. I don't think I have anything against that, to be honest. I think the only thing I can do at this point is just freaking uh, build a Hydra then and go for it. I, I think his ground army is bigger than mine, even though he went for all these Mutas, so that should say enough. He is staying around, which is typically seen as a mistake, though. Like, usually you want to come back, so that's actually quite interesting that he's still sticking around. I mean, I still think his army is bigger than mine. He's going to lose a couple units already. There we go. He's going to walk straight into the Biles, I believe, which is going to do a lot of damage. Maybe I can bait him into the others. Nah, he just has more units, and he also has better upgrades than me, so that is going to be a GG well played. And this game, my cheese didn't work out, but honestly, it was more because he cheesed me first, and he got ahead. Like, he killed all of the workers here. Now, I'm just going to pick a random spot in the game, just because I'm curious, like, what the hell happened? I feel like we threw back into each other, or threw the game back and forth into each other, and I, I didn't even know anymore if I was supposed to win at some point or not. So, here here, okay, here you can tell that I was indeed a little bit behind. I was down by five drones and I didn't have mining here, didn't have mining here, and I lost all my queens. So I was indeed right in thinking that it was kind of impressive that I stayed alive all this time. Maybe next time the ZVG, ZVG cheese will work a little better. For now, let's go to game number three. All right, game number three is going to be on side Delta. And we got Terran again, okay? I was kind of hoping we would get Protoss, so we have the... I always think it's awesome when you get, like, every single race in a series where you play random, but we are going to get Terran again, which will mean we have to be creative again. Now, our opponent has been playing this kind of strange pool first build every game. I think so far we got ahead both games, but that doesn't mean we should get complacent. There's a lot of things you can do from a pool first. Like, let's say in the first game, he actually catches my SEV and I don't get to scout the Roach Warren. Who knows what happens, right? So I'm still going to have to do my scouting properly. Now, since we did the Penguin Brothers build with the Mass Vikings in the first game, this game I do want to go for Ghosts, but... I have a feeling we're going to play against a similar opening, so let's take it step by step and see if we can react to what our opponent's doing here. I do think that some version of the ghost openers would be good against Rochalins blindly, but the one I want to do to do like a proper opening, uh, which is to go for Hellions first, and then you make the tech lab on the barracks after for ghost. There, the ghost probably gets out too late. Like everyone knows that even one ghost is pretty good against Roach Ravager because you can snipe. But it only has energy for one snipe. So if you're going up against five roaches, like the, the ghost basic attack is awful against roaches. Like a roach, I'm pretty sure will absolutely stomp a ghost in a 1v1 if it wasn't for snipe. So if there's five of them, you kill one. Hellions don't exactly do any damage against roaches. So that could be problematic. So we're going to have to do some good scouting and maybe... I will do the same thing as I did in game one where I went for the two Cyclones, but I didn't change my build. I just kind of made sure that I could hold a Roach attack. And once I was sure that I could, and I scouted that it was something else as a follow-up, he canceled the Roach Warren. Then I went for the same Hellbat attack. 
Now, at this point, Spazy must be aware that I'm playing a little cheeky here because going for the Penguin Brothers into the mass Viking, like triple starboard reactors with plus one air attack, not exactly your standard TVZ build, right? So he must know that I'm going to do something a little crazy here. So he did indeed go for pool first again. Um, I would expect that there are links hidden on the map one more time. Now, the most important is that I can actually scout the gas scout. We're not going to be able to scout that, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I can't move out with these Reaper or with this one Reaper just yet. That is the biggest problem. I guess maybe I could try to find his Zerg links. Uh, I, I'm kind of tempted to just go for the blind double cyclone anyway because I didn't get any information. It did look like he was mining gas. Like I think I saw one drone up here over there. So I guess we'll see. But like going for a double cyclone would make sense anyway considering my opponent is playing pool first, which is already less economic than a typical zerg opening right um i can't afford the ghost that here's the thing though i can't afford the ghost afford the ghost academy yet because i need the 100 gas for my double cyclone actually maybe i could have afforded it yeah i probably could have i mean it's not going to make a difference to be honest but uh, i probably could have made it a little bit faster i guess the uh, factory didn't quite land at exactly th exactly the timing that i was expecting so that scv is probably going to die maybe i can actually bring it back i wonder if that scv is gonna be able to make it back with the cover of the reaper now what these links are doing that's a big problem for me is that they're delaying my reaper from scouting the other side of the map i'm very happy i went for the double cyclone even if my opponent is not going for a roach attack um because i i just can't know right there could be all, all these roaches on the way already and i would have absolutely no idea now i okay there it is i'm actually gonna catch it. i was gonna say i didn't manage to find the final zergling but it ran into my reaper luckily now we did see there's actually some really good intel that he had a uh, zergling speed so that means that it's at least not going to be only roaches. Like, you actually have to commit a bunch of resources into Zergling speed. Now, Cyclones are a little worse than they were before. So we're going to have to be a little careful with this. Let's see if we can find a Roach War. No, there's not that much gas mined, actually. So it looks like we're going to be pretty good. I'll be able to clean up this Overlord as well. Which is uh, potentially going to supply block him a little bit. Like, that's nice. Now he sees the Ghost. I'm going to make the Armory in the wall. And this is going to be interesting. Do I go for the Battlecruiser as a follow-up or do I just go for the Hellbats? Like, I don't usually go for Hellbats with this, but since the armory is now only 50 gas, it almost feels like you, you kind of have to or you're doing a disservice to the build, you know? Uh, but if I want to go for Battlecruisers, I would have to add two more gases now. I, I think maybe... Uh, I'm, I'm just not 100% sure about it. Like, I kind of want to do it, but I also want to be a little careful. I'm not going to be able to kill that Overlord, sadly. So that's going to scout me until the end of time. You know what? I'm just going to do it. Here we go. Let's go for the double. Um, oh, that's a lot of units, actually. I think I'm going to have to micro the Hellions and not the rest of the units. That's the best way I can do this. Because the Hellions are going to be able to trade quite efficiently here. The rest of the units have no hope of surviving. So, so far, it's... It's kind of hard to rate how that's going. Like, if you look at what my opponent's strategy was, he made more Zerklings than usual. So he didn't have that many drones. And I just traded two Cyclones and a Ghost for a lot of those Zerklings. Which you could say messes up my build. But at the same time, I don't know. It, it feels like it was probably not that bad. Losing the Ghost was the worst thing out of all of that. Because the Ghost, you do kind of want to snowball with them and get more and more. And then eventually you can snipe a lot of Queens at once. But for now, it's going to be okay. I'm going to go with my third Ghost. Um, this should probably be the last Ghost I'm going to build. I'm going to make another Starport now. And then I'm going to make the Fusion Core. And then I'm just going to patrol this. I'm going to make Actually, I'm going to make one more Ghost so it can deny a potential Overlord Scout. Now, what units is he going to make? Let's see. He's making Bailings. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I do think Roaches are always going to be harder to deal with than Bailings, to be honest. But I guess it is still going to be a little annoying. Okay, let's just see if we can get some damage on those. Going to be able to hit those Queens quite harshly. And the Bailings are a little late, actually, guys. The Bailings are going to show up a little late. Let's see if these Helmets can pop off. These Ghosts are barely going to die, I think. And did I... Oh, I actually didn't manage to kill the Queen. Wait. I'm going to send... This is so stupid. But I'm going to send out the Hellions. Hellions obviously don't do damage against Queens. But... I mean, those Queens were 1 HP. I'm not quite sure if he's going to be able to transfuse all of them, you know? Oh, this could, actually, I think I have to cancel the Yamato. If I get the Yamato, I can't have my double Battlecruiser, and I really need this timing to pop off. Okay, let's just kill a couple of those Zerglings. No, he does have more. For a second, I was I thought he... 
uh, actually didn't make any zerglings at all. Pretty good trade with those Hellions there. Now, so far, my opponent should definitely be in the lead. Um, I guess it's it's a hard balance, but since my attack was pretty all in, it didn't really matter that he made like too many zergs initially because I still committed. Maybe if my build was different, I could have pulled back and then we would have been in a good spot. But here, I guess making quote unquote too many zerglings actually uh, was the right decision. Now, I'm going to try one more time just because if, the, if this ghost can kill two queens, that's absolutely massive for me, right? Like if this can kill two queens, that is absolutely massive. Wait, I, guys. The EMP on the Queens, that's actually a pretty good idea, honestly. I feel like the EMP on the Queens is pretty good. There we go. I'm going to EMP them because now they're not going to have transfuses for the battle cruiser, right? That's actually pretty freaking valuable, you know? Now, even though we're behind in this game, he doesn't have that much against the double battle cruiser for now. Keep that in mind. Because I kept attacking him over and over, he felt like he was doing great, and he never got anything against the double BC. And here we go. Two BCs are gonna teleport right into that base. There's no spore, and I EMP'd all the queens. Those queens have no transfuses. There was one transfuse there, and besides that, these are all out of energy. I have these Hellbats over here just because they can maybe help me, with the queens oh he went for mutas oh th this is gonna be so crazy this mutas are really good against this build but the thing is um or aspire is really good against this build but mutas not necessarily and are he already spent all of his money on making those mutas so those mutas are gonna fall pretty fast he doesn't have that many mutas left he used all of his bailings up already too now the thing is i'm not sure what i should make that gives me a better chance later on. Let's see, I'm gonna use this one, Hellbound. Uh, maybe I can, can I kill those queens in time? Probably not. Oh, I did actually get it before a transfuse, so that's nice. Now I am gonna lose this battle cruiser, so realistically, we are still gonna be in a very tough spot. But the attacks, it's, it's so hard to say how it's going, to be honest. I feel like on one hand, they all look bad. Oh, I actually got a Yamato. I, I didn't even realize that finish, to be honest. That's my bad. Maybe I could have yamato that Corruptor before, and then that Battle Cruiser would have lived, actually. Uh, so that is a little painful. I guess I'll just run by with this one, because there's absolutely no way uh, that he was making stuff behind this, to be honest. Or, I mean, uh, that he was making Zerglings. Like, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, he has just a couple. He, he actually... Oh, my God, he is... 500 IQ, but he didn't keep the Zerglings at home, so he's still gonna leave, lose a couple of these. I'm gonna be able to escape with one of those, luckily. Now, I do need to get an Engineering Bay ASAP. Right now, I would still say we're pretty massively losing the game, but somehow... It feels like there's there's something there, you know? Like there might be something to be done here. Especially because I do still have ghosts. I'm gonna go for mass ghosts now. Uh, those are gonna be my last battle cruiser that I'm gonna make. Yeah, there's nothing really that I can do against that, sadly. Oh, that actually sucks. I didn't even know that, but apparently... Uh, oh, he actually is going for pretty much an all-in there. Yeah, that might be the end of me, guys. I don't think uh, those units can be stopped anymore. I can try to repair this, but I guess the build is gonna be a little bit... Too bad, and here we go. GG has to be called. We're going to lose against Spazy Maisy. The 63 drone still, and he actually still had four queens. That's kind of impressive that he rebuilt the queens despite spending all that money. So I guess this game is kind of a good example of this build that you really do have to make it work early on. Because here, if you look at what my opponent has, he doesn't actually have that many drones. Like, we're on the same worker count. But just because he didn't take damage from the attack, in particular on the queens, he was able to hold it quite easily still. Like, I feel like a lot of the trades were okay, but you just need more than that where you're gonna do something this all in and we're gonna end in the first round there we had a beautiful game one we had an absolutely brutal zvz i mean it was freaking awesome to be honest in game two and then a fails ghost into battle cruiser cheese against a good zerg that was making his pyre and he was just really good with the battles to be honest so that's gonna be it for today hope you guys enjoyed this run regardless of the elimination i definitely did if you did enjoy it get a video like subscribe to the channel and I'll see y'all for the next one adios